Hi, my name's Brian. I was with IOM in Pakistan after the earthquake struck in 2005 and through the massive flooding in 2010. In 2007, Cyclone Yemen struck Pakistan, killing 19 but leaving thousands homeless and on the move in the isolated province of Baluchistan and northern Sin. Didn't gather nearly the attention of the earthquake, but it affected many people in some of the poorest parts of the country. Largely because of the trust built between the government and the international community after the earthquake and the standard operating procedures put in place, the cluster system was activated, including the CCCM cluster. The total rec response was only seeking about $40 million, and I think the CCCM requirements were about $1 million, focused on rolling out the displacement tracking matrix and some quick household level procurements. We received support from SURF and from OFDA, now BHA, within USAID. The members of the cluster included IOM, UN Habitat, Mercy Corps, and I think Save the Children. Apologies for any omissions. We broke into teams, did a quick training, went and identified all the formal sites, collective centers, and spontaneous settlements that were in the affected area. We mapped them, identified points of contacts within them, worked through the coordination on the provincial level, and got assistance to people as they largely worked through self-recovery. Baluchistan's a tough province filled with very self-reliant people. This smaller response reinforced a lesson for IOM, which we learned after the earthquake when the clusters were rolled out before they were even clusters. Cluster coordination is a service. If the service does not provide value, it will not have a constituency. It's not a meeting platform to convene implementing partners. It's a method to bring together peers to shape a common strategy, deliver what we can, and provide more value as a group than we do as individual agencies. And I think it's a lesson still equally valid today. And everyone, have a nice day.